Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Thorium mod. I'm dressed up as a Snarbalax. Whatever that is. I found it in a goodie bag, because I was killing some stuff, and uh, one dropped. And this is actually a vanity set from uh, Thorium, so that's kind of interesting. Also, I've got a lot of friends, as you can see them hopping around down there. Also, I finally got around to getting myself magic storage, which is like the main focus of this. And I'm so happy about it, because, look at that, so much easier to see all the things, so much simpler, so much more condensed, jam-packed, not gonna be missing anything right now. There is a lot of stuff that I can grab myself, lots of uh, new things here. Life crystals, I could max that out, but I'm not exactly sure how much health I've got. I don't know what I have total. Actually, no, I, I do know, I just have to look at the uh, at the thing. I have just enough to max myself out as my voice dies a little bit there. Don't pay any attention to that. Moving on, though. Yeah, I've got a lot of friends. Remember how in the last episode I said, you know what? It'd be really nice if I could get a Blood Moon or a Slime Rain, and I got neither. Well, guess what I just got <laughs> at the same time? I got a Slime Rain that led into a Blood Moon. Isn't that funny? Isn't that just peachy? You didn't get to see the Blood Moon because I was actually doing something, and it was related to the base that I was making. So I gotta run over here. Uh, that's... <laughs> okay. That's kind of funny. Let's send out the didgeridoo. Get ready to be didgeridunked on. A didgeridork. There you go. Didgeridie. There we go. That's pretty clever, right? I like that. We like that. Anyways, like I said, I did do something that I wanted to show you in regards to my base. I made uh, a good bit of progress, at least trying to get an area set up over here for the ice biome, and I was gonna get moving here. I don't know why I'm holding the didgeridoo like that whenever I jump, that's kind of silly. Um, anyways, yeah, I made some progress on this over here, but things are not looking good. So basically, this is what I did. I tore up a chunk that I thought might be big enough for a base, and uh, I discovered there is a substantial amount of crimson ice blocks down there. And I kind of got started on a little thing over here, a little area, kind of be a sort of an outpost, a staging ground, you might say, to go digging down here into an underground area to kind of build a base when I was just kind of looking it over and I was like, you know what? I just don't think this is gonna work. Like, it's okay for right now, but like, later on down the line, for one, this is gonna be pretty jam-packed down here because I've got a lot of terraforming to do also, these are bone torches as well, and uh, they th I think they're pretty cool. They come from the uh, skeleton merchant, but uh, this is the main issue down here. I would have to purify this entire area over here and then uh, keep it that way. And being that I'm right next door to this mess right here, I just don't see things going well for that. So I'm kind of sort of on the fence about building an ice biome base, which is really unfortunate because I was very excited to do it. I really wanted to, but uh, it just, it wasn't working out. I tried my best and things just, they, they just weren't going my way. I didn't feel good about it. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to ax the ice biome idea, which brings me back to maybe like a pyramid base or a base up in the sky. Something to, to think about, something to work on. Or maybe there is something that I could do to salvage that ice biome over there. Or maybe even make my own cave underground or something. I don't know. I had some ideas, but you know, that is where that stands. Anyways, with all that said and done, time to move on to the actual meat and potatoes of the video. Let's look inside of our magic storage because I know that there was a lot of stuff that I can now make because I have everything all condensed, nice and neat and tidy. So I want to take a look and see what all new things there are in here. I know that there is some new sandstone stuff, but I'm not particularly worried about that. I did take a look at the item though, the, uh, the item, the armor set. I looked at the item, you know, that's not vague, but I looked at the set, it's a throwing set, it's all right, I could alternate, I suppose, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. There's some new stuff in that icy shard there, that's pretty nice, cold front, kind of weak though, definitely uh, pretty far away from when that would be useful. And then there's all these things here. I don't have enough stars to make them all, but I would like to at some point. I don't know how effective this is gonna be, but it looks really cool. Not that I'm actually gonna use it, but you know what, if it looks cool and it does a lot of things, then you know what, that's exciting. It's made out of a lot of stuff, so I imagine that its attack just kind of does a little bit of everything. But I'm gonna need a lot more, uh, a lot more stars. Which is kind of strange whenever you think about the concept of the item, because the item takes both fallen stars and arcane dust. Why do you need stars in whole form and also a sprinkle of stardust? Is that like when you season with salt and then add a pinch for flavor? 
Like, you want your gems to be delicious. You make sure you add a pinch for flavor. Looks like the weapons are pretty much the same there. Also looks like all this is pretty much the same as well. Let's move on to the equipment. There's the Ebon set there that we looked at. Made out of those unholy shards from the Blood Moon. Got plenty of that stuff. But it is healer, so I'm not going to grab it. Uh, move on down the line here. There is something for Silk, which is kind of interesting. Looks like a really early game mage set. Tabard, leggings, and hat. Or Tabard. How do you say it? The right way or the wrong way? Let me know. And there's the Abyssal Walker set. There's another Thorium thing. Vanity set, though. Silver Spear Tip. 75% base damage. Spear weapons will release a damaging Spear Tip. Interesting. What do you do? Crystal Spear Tip. Interesting. Okay, what's next? There's the White String. That pretty much does the same thing as always. There's all these different rings. I would like to make this, but I gotta take down the Goblin Army, which is gonna be something on the agenda. There's a whole bunch of bucklers, minecart, and... A pink slime egg? Oh, that is just adorable. It's so pretty. You're right it is. Look at that. Oh my. It's such a happy floating blob. Look at that. It's got a smiley face on it and everything. Oh my. What a lovely pinky. Anyways, moving on from that. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to get a bucket of water. Huh. And there's the Christmas center there. I can make it Christmas. All I need it with snow. Present shall rain from the sky. Interesting. But yeah, I need to go get a bucket. Can I make a bucket? Does that count as armor? It does count as armor. I need to go and get some water. And thankfully, I have a hole in the ground right here that I can go get to. And I have all my friends coming with me. There they are. They're coming out to get me. We're just going to hop over top. There we go. We're going to rhyme a little bit there as well. That is pretty fancy. Get. Get out of my house. Disgusting. Now we can look at potions. Yeah, like so much more. Got to make water first. Let's see what we can get. Silver tongue potion. Mmm. Bot items will be cheaper. That is seems like it'd be very easily abused by auto pause. I don't even know why there's a minute duration on that. It could be a half hour. Wouldn't make a difference. Earworm potion. Increase the duration of your symphonic empowerments by 25%. There's that. I remember seeing that. That could be pretty nice. Duration, though. I guess that would be good because it would make it easier to keep a bunch of them rolling at, at, at the same time, having them stacked up on top of each other. That's good. What else we got here? Frost heart elixir. Freezes you in place, but massively increases health regen and defense. Well, that's pretty neat. Freeze me solid. How does that work? I actually kind of want to make one. I'm curious. Oh, okay. Recovering a large amount of life within an icy prison. You know what? That could be really, really handy. What did that need to make? Icy shards and shiver thorn. That actually seems like it might be really handy. I could see that being very useful. Like, say I build like a base down somewhere, like maybe outside the, the jungle temple or something. I could just respawn and then regenerate really quickly. That is pretty neat. I think I might have to hold on to that. Everything looks pretty much the same here. Okay, that's good. Let's take take this down here, all you guys stopping by to say hello. Get out of here. I need some more powerful weapons. I've got all... I feel like I've been playing long enough that I should be powerful enough to survive everything by now. Also, it feels like this slime rain has been going on for an eternity. It really does. Feels like it's just not gonna end and it's getting kind of old. You know, this is supposed to end with King Slime. Where is he, huh? Been over here doing all this murdering and I don't see any King Slimes anywhere. Actually, I would like to deal with a boss, but not King Slime. That is the uh, first thing on the agenda that I would like to deal with. I would like to finally take down the Eye of Cthulhu because I've got a decent amount of gear. I think I've got good mobility. I want to try to take him down and I think I should be able to do it. And hopefully I get lots of good stuff from it because I would love to make some serious progress. And then I kind of want to go over there and break some shadow orbs. Maybe even get a goblin army to show up. I mean, who knows what could happen? Anything could happen in another exciting episode of Pixelated Fireballs, One Man Band Adventure. That's what it is. Hey, there's King Slime. Okay, fine, we'll murder him then. Where is he Where is he going? Oh, okay. I thought he was falling through the uh, through the map. That's not what he was doing. Lesson learned, though. There we go. We'll just keep firing at him. You can't catch up to me, even though you just did. Nobody pay attention to that. That was a fluke. It was a flub, uh, as one might say. I need a musical instrument that increases all damage dealt to King Slime by 1 million percent. That would be a nice empowerment. Can I get one of those? Okay, let's wrap this up. This is getting old. And there we go. That takes care of that. Just in time as well, I believe, because now I can finally deal with anything without being attacked by a million slimes. That's pretty handy. Uh, let me teleport back. I put that bed up there and I don't use it now. I don't take advantage of it. Very unwise. I don't know how this is going to go. Hmm. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's grab some potions. I have a good bit of that. I've maxed out my HP. I can get some iron skin potions. Um... I don't really think there's a need for the earworm potions right now. We'll just take the basics here. Um, is there a way for me to make snowballs? I don't have a lot of snow blocks, but I can make a bunch of snowballs with them, and I can use that in my snowball cannon. 
See, there we go. I tested it out on those perfectly normal slimes whose names are spelled B-U-N-N-Y. It's very strange. Alrighty, let's go over here to this arena, I suppose. Probably gonna be the best one for this particular boss, the old Eok. We're gonna take him down. Gonna make some more progress. We're gonna charge forward for the sake of something. Rallying battle cry, a motivational speech, encouraging words followed by thoughtful catchphrase. I don't know. I don't know how these things usually work out. Anyways, let's spawn the boss. Let's do it. There we go. Not wasting any time going straight into the boss fight. Pixelated Fireball is coming around the corner with the Great Big. And he's going to take down the giant Eok. And it's going to be a piece of cake. Actually, it's probably going to be all right for right now. But I imagine later on down the line, this is going to get a little frustrating. Especially whenever he starts doing his mad, like, zigzags. Like, right now it's good because he moves slow and he charges directly at me. So hitting him with this thing is a, kind of kind of a breeze. Also, getting hit by him is a breeze, too. Which is, eh, whatever. It is what it is. Be neat if I could see him get hit by a fallen star. That only happens every once in a while. Very, very rare. I think whenever he switches to his crazy dash phase, I'm probably going to end up going after him with the snowball cannon. And probably deals a pile of damage to him right now, honestly. Why am I even using the didgeridoo? Because it's an amazing weapon, that's why. I second-guess myself, and then I regret it. Actually, this thing does a good bit of damage to him. The crits are pretty nice. Let's keep hitting him with the trumpet. We're gonna alternate here. There we go. That's gonna be big damage right there. There we go. Hit him with the trumpet. Just keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, there we go. Now it's gonna be a problem. This is where the issues are going to arise. We'll switch to the trumpet for a little bit more accuracy. Oh, we gotta regenerate some inspiration real quick. There we go. That didn't take very long. As it turns out, I find that I am most inspired whenever I'm running away. If running away from a giant monster so you don't die doesn't you know, motivate you to live. I don't know what will. I think everybody should experience that at least once in their life. Absolute, unrestrained, like, heart attack inducing terror while running away from a giant monster. I think that really gives you a nice perspective on life. There we go, the power of the toots cannot be beaten. Let's open up that treasure bag. Nothing all that special, but it did give me the Shield of Cthulhu, which is quite nice. Always gotta love that stuff. And two Shadow Diamonds. Interesting. I thought I was only supposed to get one whenever I defeated the Eye of Cthulhu. Hmm, I don't really remember. Okay, let's take a look at the Crimtain. I'm sure there's lots of good stuff with that. Yes, there is. There is a Bard set for that. Interesting. Well, I can't really get that right now, unfortunately, because it does need the tissue samples, but we got that taken down, right? There we go. Took down the Eok pretty quickly. I don't know if there's anything special that he drops, but... I got the main thing that I wanted from him, which was mostly the Shield of Cthulhu, because I gotta have me that sweet dash. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is as good as a, as a crisp dash. There we go, right into the enemy. Take that, bonk. Gotta love it. I don't know if I would really want to put that on there for the crit ring, but... The shield is nice, but it doesn't really do much for me right now. It's it's kind of just whatever at the moment. Um, I'm kind of disappointed there's no weapons or anything from him. I haven't got a bard weapon... But, well, I guess it hasn't been that long. I guess it was just since the Grand Thunderbird, but whatever. Doesn't matter. We got that taken down. Defeated. So now what I would like to do is go over there to that big bad crimson and break some shadow orbs because we got to do that to get the goblins to show up. If we even want to make it seem worth their time, we got to go over there and bust up some bloody demon butts. Strange. And I know that that's a really weird way to describe it, but we all know that's what they look like. That was decided whenever one point... What was it, 1.2 when the Crimson came out? That's when it was decided that that's what they look like. It is unavoidable. You know, I, at least I got this nice cozy outpost over here at the barrier and a big hole down that opens up straight to the mouth of, of blood and guts and gore. It's fantastic. Whatever, doesn't matter. We're ready to move on inside of here and I'm sure it's gonna be a delightful cakewalk because you all know if there's one thing that I just love, it's dealing with, you know, the evil biome when it's meshed with the ice biome. So the water inside it really, really slows me down and makes me easy to kill. That's what we like. Okay, we've got plenty of gel and we got some bombs. Let's break a couple of these and see what we find. Actually, we might not even be over here all that long. What is that? Spiked fan letter, full of intrusive compliments, but a surprisingly inspirational increases max inspiration by three. Interesting. Fan letter. Why does the Crimson have my fan mail? That's very strange. Not sure that I really like that all that much, but okay. Let's break this one, see what we got in there. The Rotted Fork. I can't even reach it. 
A meteorite has landed as well. I can go over there and see what's up with that. Okay, that's the plan right now. We're gonna grab this real fast, head back up to the surface here, drop my stuff off in here, and I should probably expand this base at some point. I need to make a better pickaxe. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go do that right now. We're gonna go looking for the meteorite, see where that landed, and then I'm going to hopefully come across some interesting stuff. Um, I don't know if I wanna put that letter on right now. I think I'm good with just the mobility at the moment. Hopefully, the meteorite is this way. That's the ideal direction. Well, actually, not really, because the jungle's over here. I don't really remember very many times where the meteorite has ended up in the jungle, now that I think about it. It's generally in the outer thirds, for sure, but not really ever in the jungle. We're gonna take a look. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna see if there is one over there. So, whenever I finally find that meteorite or something else that's just as interesting, I'll see you then. Actually, you know what funny thing? I already found it. And there's that sheer drop right here. So, okay. Okay, Terraria. You've stretched the reality of physics here quite a bit, but this is pushing it. How exactly did this get here? I want you to tell me. Okay. Did it come in from this way? Just kind of going in a direction like this. Yeah, there's a space slime. That's kind of cool. Did it go in diagonally here? That's what I want to know. Did the meteorite go in diagonally and still somehow land underneath this? Like, I just, I just wonder how it got into this position without, like, breaking this. I, I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You guys know what time it is, though. Oh, yeah. That was anticlimactic. Don't... Do that. Don't tease me like that. Get going like you're gonna just be the most amazing thing ever. This is a really dinky meteorite. I'm disappointed. I feel like if it would not have landed in this particular spot, I would have had this whole area to the right over here just filled with meteorite. But I got this. What is that thing? What is it? UFO? Ah, get out of here. Oh, I thought that was like an item or something. That's just its gore, which is really interesting that a UFO has gore, but whatever, that's fine. It certainly looks like it's something I should be able to pick up. Why can't I? I know it's not from having a full inventory. Oh, well, uh, this was very anticlimactic for a meteorite destruction. I'm quite disappointed. I'm hoping that I get another one at some point. I can redeem myself for that. I'll have to remember that, and I really will, too. Is that the end of the meteorite biome? Saw a few new things. There's a meteor slimes over there and the UFO. Very nice. I'm actually pretty sure that I need to kill those things to get a summoning item for, what was it? The the Star Scouter, I think, is what it is. My god, when you look at it too, you really realize, uh, there's quite a lot of bosses left in pre-hard mode. And then there's even more stuff in hard mode. That is a lot of stuff there. Get that stuff counter rolling up there again. Hi, Holly. There you go with the meet me behind Jeffrey's house thing. Has it been three hours? Do you have something that I'll find very appealing? I'm willing to bet that you don't. You got a cape, a code one, presserator, a fez, an ammo box, that's not bad, and a bricklayer, I'll take it. You know what, Aiden? You know what, you're, you're all right in my book now. Not the most useful things ever, but I'll take it, it's not bad. Okay, before I make this, let's see, can I do anything with meteorite? Nope, just the regular stuff. Alrighty, let's make as much of this stuff as we can and see what we can do with it. Oh yeah, 79. That is a very small meteorite. That's very disappointing. Alrighty, let's see what we can do here. Actually, take a look at this first. Wow, that's a lot of stuff there. There's a throwing technique there. Alright, there's the same old meteor set, space gun, all that's pretty much the same old, same old ham axe. I know for sure that I want to get that. Unpleasant. Well, actually, I think it's pretty nice, to be honest with you, but that's fine. There's a star statue. Uh, that was added by the Thorium mod. Okay, so I guess I can have those mana stars whenever I want. Meteor Staff. There is a Stellar System. That's hard mode, though. Meteorite Oboe. Where's that at? Right here? Interesting. Releases a flaming earworm that infects hit enemies. The affected enemy will constantly release damaging astral clouds. Playing empowers players with bonus resource grab range one. We'll grab that, and it's rambling. Why? What is with this thing? Buzzing, rambling, busted instruments here. I'm not a fan. You're wasting all my meteorites. This next one better be pretty nice. Let me double check and make sure there isn't something amazing first. Interesting. There's a summon set for it as well. Astro set. That's kind of cool. And there is some new summoning stuff here. Enchanted barrier wand. What do you make that with? Oh, okay. There is a lot of good stuff for summoners here. Meteorite cluster bomb. Technique meteor stomp. There's a meteor mask. Interesting. Blank technique scroll. Oh, there is a lot of stuff there. Okay. Well, uh, give me a meteorite oboe that's not garbage. Inspiring. I'll take it. Uh, that, unfortunately, is trash. The whole meteorite was garbage. I'm very disappointed. Here, Aiden, have a rambling meteorite oboe. I don't exactly know why the, the thing is rambling, but, you know, have a chatty oboe. 
Let's see what you can do. Oh. Okay. It's actually pretty cool looking, I gotta say. Um, not bad. Not bad at all. Three inspiration, though. That's quite a quite an inspiration sucker there. So I should probably do something about that at some point. I gotta go down underground and find more thorium ore. I'm so excited. Actually, do I even have any thorium ore? I'm pretty sure I grabbed a bunch of it. There it is. 203. Oh, so all I need is a thorium anvil? And that just takes 10 of the ore in an anvil. I can make this right now. I didn't even think of that. Let's throw that in there. We'll grab that real fast. There we go. Thorium anvil. I can craft a bunch of thorium bars. There we go. 48. And with that, I can make the inspiration fragment. So I'm going to take these and all me dust. Where is me special space dust? Take a bunch of that. Over 100 of it. Well, close enough to it. Okay. So I just need a demon altar and the thorium bars, huh? We are going to be so inspired. I'm so thrilled for this. There we go. Let's do it. How many can I make? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. How many of these should I be making? Three, four, five. There we go. Is that it? Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is kind of funny. I like that. Also, I wonder if the music note thing there actually uh, drops the little inspiration notes or whatever. Whenever uh, enemies die, kind of like the magic stars or like hearts and whatnot. I wonder if it does that. We'll find out. Because I really kind of wasted the... Uh, the thorium ore and the astral dust on that, but that's fine. I can make the thorium stuff now, though. There's a thorium pick. Look at that. Can my meteorite? Well, I mean, is there really even a point to it? There's the set. Pulses with energy. And yeah, there's all that stuff, too. Anything else that I might have looked over? Doesn't look like it. Everything looks to be the same old, same old. I gotta say, I kind of feel bad right now. I didn't exactly want this to be like a me, like, run around and go and farm episode. I kind of wanted to make a little bit of progress, and I guess I did, because I did take down the Eok, and I got a meteorite and explored a little bit over there in the Crimson, very briefly. But uh, I kind of feel like the majority of the video has been me just kind of sitting here going through my magic storage. And that's not too interesting. But yeah, I really kind of feel like this episode's kind of been just majority me just kind of poking around inside of here, looking at my magic storage and all the new stuff that I can make. Which, I mean, that's kind of fun, I suppose. Take a look at some of the new items that I can make for myself and kind of get an idea for where I need to go. I know I need to go back underground, and I definitely need to deal with the goblin army. So, maybe I'll do that in the next episode, because I have been recording for quite a while already. Well, not really all that long. It's been a pretty normal amount of time. But I don't really have an enormous amount of time for this episode this time. So I might end up having to release a quick little snippet, and then we'll pick it up in the next episode with the Goblin Army. Maybe I'll have another meteorite by then. We'll go down, we'll explore the caverns, find the Goblin, find a lot of Thorium or whatever new stuff I can get a hold of down there. And then we'll deal with the Brain of Cthulhu. The Beok, or the Bok. The Eok and the Bok. Gotta love it. But anyways, guys, like I said, I think I might be calling it an episode here. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.